this was the 30th year for the Thanksgiving food drive, so we expected it would be normal, but it wasn't. It was it was down a fair bit through the whole course of the drive, even though we had a great kickoff. And uh, part of that is because people chose to donate money for uh, fresh produce, uh, so that couldn't get added to the totals because we didn't know fully who did that. So we thought we were going to be down a lot this year, and then over the weekend, uh, Farm Credit Canada had picked up from some schools, so they dropped off their stuff yesterday and today. Uh, Labatt's employees went out to a grocery store and handed out bags to people and got a huge amount, almost 7,000 pounds worth of food out of that store. So the next thing we knew, it all came in yesterday. And so we're happy to announce that we're over last year's total, which was 67,700 pounds. We're going to beat that again this year. The full amount will be in a little bit later. But I'm just so impressed that all of these different groups decided to just pull together and make it happen. And they did. It was a great drive. You know, drives, they go up and they go down. Um, but, you know, this one was down so low, we were kind of wondering why. Some said it was because of the weather, some because it's an election. We've been through so so many elections down here at the food bank that often the drives go down with that. But uh, we never worried. We weren't trying to set a target or whatever it was. We were just letting people know what we got last year, thinking we would get close, and it didn't look like that would happen. And then it suddenly did. But when people know that we don't quite make a target, they always donate a week or two later. So we weren't worried about it. We were just trying to understand why it was down so low. It doesn't matter. It all came back up at the end. And this is a great community. It always has been that way. You know, when Labatt's employees, for instance, went into the no frills store and handed out bags, if somebody doesn't do that, then we don't get as much as we normally would. When the bags are handed out, you get double the amount from that grocery store because people are reminded why they're there. And then when the schools, for instance, that had their food drives for it that were picked up by Farm Credit Canada yesterday, uh, we forget that when those things come in, those things come in at five or six, seven thousand pounds at a time. So I think the groups themselves are the ones that bring in the bulk of that uh, because they really organize and they do a really good job and the schools for instance have been working on it for a period of time and it just really paid off came in for us